Hi foodies, we are making some delicious shrimp pumpkin soup with a nice island style vibe, a Jamaican flavor. I know you're going to enjoy this one. It's so, so comforting. It's not like the fish tea, it's a little richer. Let's get into it. So first things first guys, I separated the shells from the flesh and we're going to wash that with cold water and some citrus or some vinegar. Okay, the heads and the tail shells, everything is over there. So separate them, wash them. And then what I have here is a little olive oil and some butter. We are going to just saute the shells and then we're going to make just a little broth or stock. But it's going to be very simple. Okay, I'm not going to be putting like carrot and celery like I normally would. So I'm going in with some green seasoning. This is a mixture of aromatics. So you've got thyme and scallion and garlic and onion in here. So it's going to give the soup a lot of flavor. And if it's your first time using green seasoning, don't worry. It's not going to make the stock or broth uh, green. Okay, so swirl this around for a bit. And this is over a, you know, medium heat. You don't want this to get brown. Okay, so once it's nice and fragrant, then we're going to be stirring in the shells. And of course, you know, sometimes when we're making soup in the Caribbean, all we do is we just add the water and throw in the whole shrimp and everything. But if you do this first, like separate the shells from the flesh, and then you use this to make your, your, um, your broth or your stock, then you can save the shrimp flesh and add it last minute so it's nice and juicy because if you just throw the whole shrimp in the in the soup and boil it the entire time then it's gonna be rubbery and overcooked all right if you're okay with that fine you can skip this step I do want to add a little salt here but not too much because we're gonna be going in with some seasonings later on you don't want to over salt the broth or the stock and then in the end you know you can't get to add those nice seasonings okay so we will cook this and just get that beautiful flavor from the shrimp shell and the head in that stock. So you might see a little bit of froth on top you can just skim that off and then you're gonna allow this to simmer you don't want to cook it over too high a heat because you don't want it to dry out too quickly you want to allow the shells to really flavor that water okay so that's the shrimp shell okay the flesh here of course it's deveined and everything and it was rinsed I'm gonna be adding some seasoning here. So it's black pepper and some Maggi chicken seasoning. I like this flavor. If you don't, you can go ahead and add your favorite fish seasoning, but this just works really well with a lot of things. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And then just put that in the fridge till you're ready. Okay, so I'm using Jamaican pumpkin. So you just scrape out the seeds just like you would with any other pumpkin and then just peel and then dice it up all right so i'm gonna be doing maybe like a medium dice not too fine not um huge cubes either just enough so some of it can kind of you know melt away in the liquid and then i have some chocho this is also called christophine there's other names for it it has a mild flavor so you can use that or you can leave it out and some carrot of course okay so this is the stock guys i strained off all the shrimp shells and we're left with this. So transfer it to your pot on the stove and then we are going to boil the pumpkin and the carrot because we want to release the beautiful color and flavor into the liquid, okay? So once the pumpkin 
softens if you want it to be really rich and you know really comforting what i do is take out some of the pumpkin and carrot and then i just puree it in like my magic bullet so get that smooth um finish and then pour it back into the pot and stir it around then i go in with some cubed yellow yam and then i'm going to be going in with some corn as well this is a mixture of flour and salt and water so this is for our dumpling in jamaica we make spinners or we make round dumpling i'm gonna be making spinners so you just rub the piece of dough between your palms and get some skinny pieces so we'll add those and then we have the chocho going in allow this to boil and cook the yellow yam especially because that would take the longest to cook and then once that's cooked we will add our fish tea mix i love this absolutely flavorful you can use others if you prefer i sifted the seasoning to get out the noodles because i'm not a huge fan of the noodles but i love the flavor of it so we're just using the powder so stir that in if you can't find this soup mix then there are other soup mixes you can find all right now i'm going in with scallion and thyme okay this is gonna add a beautiful flavor trust me really really nice and then i will also add some scotch bonnet pepper I also want to add some pimento i'm not going to crush it i'm adding the whole allspice berries in there lots of flavor from these guys so just give it a good stir and then i'm going to go in with a chicken a maggi chicken cube you could use other kinds of um, seasoning cubes it could be vegetable or fish but just don't go in with beef because the flavor is just too strong for this then taste to see if it needs more water it needs more salt it needs more pepper or if it needs more seasoning all right so give it a nice stir and allow everything to just mesh together beautifully okay once you taste and the soup tastes great then you can go in with some black pepper if necessary and then we're gonna go in with the shrimp last minute because we don't want the shrimp to be overcooked so don't add the shrimp too soon okay so what we're going in with now guys is some okra it is really delicious and i love the texture it's definitely optional okay if you're not a fan fine leave it out and then add the shrimp give everything a big stir okay and then just allow the shrimp and the okra to cook for about three minutes you don't need to overcook shrimp guys all right guys look at this beautiful soup oh my goodness it's not thin like my fish tea but it's equally delicious it is so tasty trust me and the shrimp was actually really nice and juicy because it wasn't boiled the entire time absolutely flavorful i know you're gonna enjoy it and you know what to the addition of the okra oh my gosh the texture is so amazing but of course if you want to leave it out that's fine okay but give it a try guys i know you're gonna love it all right see you next time